In this video, we'll look at what's new in Camtasia 2023. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this is Camtasia 2023. Looks like Camtasia 2022. Uh, not a lot has changed. Uh, that's all I can say for now. Let's dive into what's new. So I'll go to the write up and Camtasia 2023 was released on April 25th, 2023. And these are the new features. The CASA has been kind of emphasized a lot. And we also now have a CASA color effect. So you can change the CASA color from like the white to the like uh, black background or outline over there. We now also have the CASA shadow effect. We also have CASA packs. We have neon, neon CASA packs, 58 of them at the time of recording this video. Hand drawn CASA packs, these are available. And you can also create, uh, add custom CASA packs uh, like uh, your own avatars. So this is what uh, that looks like. I have a tutorial here. It has a CASA. And what I can do, I'll click on the screen and then go to more and CASA effects. You'll now see the CASA color here. And you can see it's uh, like a yellow. Uh, so if I drag and drop it onto the screen recording right there, uh, you'll see uh, the tone. There is a light tone, dark tone, intensity, is in, is out. So you can change this to whatever you want. Uh, that looks good. I'll just scale it up slightly so that we see uh, the changes. Scroll down slightly and then I can change this to whatever. Let's say we want it to look something like that. You can also swap or switch uh, uh, the, those modes uh, for the, the, the green to fill the casa and then the outline to be uh, the pink of sorts. So that's the casa color. We now also have the casa shadow. Just drag and drop it over there. If that is something that you're into, scroll down to see the properties. If you want it up there, uh, the offsets, whatever you want. Uh, you can just do whatever you want. Uh, the opacity, uh, the blur. It really uh, comes down to your own preference. We also have like uh, uh, on the timeline here, you can see what cursor type it is that is being used. That's highly welcome. Uh, but that, that is all we have on cursors. So uh, to me, it doesn't feel like uh, this should have been in a new Camtasia 2023, but it is what it is. So next up, we have visual effects. We have Camtasia filters. Uh, and you can create a wide range of looks from warm and sunny to cool and moody. And whether you're looking to achieve a cinematic color tone, give your footage a vintage feel, or lean into a futuristic look, Camtasia filters get you there with a simple drag and drop effect. So these are more or less like color lats. Uh, and then we've got motion path effect. Uh, you can add motion path uh, to uh, almost anything on the timeline right about there. We've got a vignette effect, and I believe the motion path is really going to be handy. Looks really good. We've got also a vignette effect, uh, one of the most iconic and versatile effects in photo and video editing world. You can now do it from the effects. Uh, control the intensity, the black and white etc. Use uh, the size, roundness etc. So uh, let's look at the Camtasia filters, and for that I might need to use to add maybe some media here. Uh, let's say we we add some footage like this uh, over here and then we go to visual effects and then go to filters so now there are two we have visual effects tab and the filters tab so you can go for black and white just drag and drop it over there and you have a color lot for black and white and you can see a ton of other things right here now basically once you add one color lot they now become available for you to use over here so it looks really, really good. If you'd like to import a color lot, you can do that right here. So let's say we go with teal and orange, and that is the new look that we get. This is the original, depending on what you're looking for. So that's the color lots. Uh, next up we've seen, we've got uh, the motion path effect. You go to visual effects, and let's say we do something like, let's say add an annotation, let's say texts, just add this to the timeline. You can add another one and call it D, D, E, F. And let's say 
uh, as for this one let's say we've got this one maybe somewhere right about here then let's say we've got this one somewhere right about there now i'll add the motion path effect visual effects let's just scroll down motion path just drag and drop it here and let's say we want it to move from here to down here and then we've got this we've got the motion path let's say we want it to move from down here to up here let's play this and see so there we go. So you can really do what you want with the different options. Uh, for example, you can uh, adjust this. Maybe you want it to end somewhere here. And let's say maybe for this one, you wanted it to end somewhere there. So if we do that, uh, there we go. So you can easily create some awesome, awesome movements with all this uh, type of effects. That is the motion path effect. That's highly welcome. And then uh, we've got uh, the AI uh, removal color. That is, if you go to the visual effects up here, we've got the background removal and it's still in beta, uh, but let's see if we can get some footage here that we can actually use. Uh, I don't have uh, something that we can work with, but let's just add this. Let's see somewhere about there. And then take a photo let's say we try and remove this so we go back to the visual effects let's just drag and drop it there let's see if you're going to get any result i don't think there's any result right for this so i think we need uh, actually there is if i move this You'll see, okay, let me actually turn off this layer. There is that particular effect. It doesn't really uh, look good and they're not fine tuning. Still in beta, so I'm sure they're going to improve it. If I turn it off, seems it's like just taking out the color and it's not recognizing the person really, really well. So it's still in beta. Uh, hopefully they, they, they improve on that in future. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, I'm not really sure where this Camtasia 2020 through uh, 2023 is headed uh i don't think i'm a big fan at this moment but uh, if you've never purchased camtasia then it may be something for you i'm actually on the trial version that's why you're seeing the buy now option here uh next up we've got uh the vignette effect so uh, it's still available here uh right about somewhere here so you can just drag and drop this there uh, and then scroll down here you can see the amount and then the size you can use it do whatever you want make uh, if you uh, reduce the roundness it gets uh, some uh, something uh, like a square or rectangle whatever you want then you can feather to kind of blow out the edges right here looks really really good uh, but it also depends on uh, the result that you're trying to achieve uh, but uh, simply put that is the vignette effect and we've looked at uh, Camtasia filters, motion path, vignette effect, AI background removal tool and uh, as they've mentioned if you don't have the time, patience or money to set up a green screen no problem let the robots do the heavy lifting fire up your camera, record yourself, add that video to your Camtasia timeline and then just drop the background removal effect onto the clip uh, you've seen that it's still not that perfect, still not that good uh, but hopefully they're going to improve it with time so that it actually recognizes what's uh, going on, what detail needs to be available. Also probably provide some fine tuning options right here. Uh, what else is new? So we've got a new uh, new tool, tool right here. It's called the corner pinning. And I think that is probably what I think in this particular update looks really really awesome and uh it's right here if you hover over here you'll see the corner pin mode and what this does is that it kind of helps you fit something in a 3d background for example i'm not sure if i'll get a clear like example for this one because uh the best option uh huh, the best option would be for example let's add this here i'm not sure if it's going to make any sense but Let's also add this footage right here. 
Now let's enter uh, corner pinning mode and you'll see it turns red and then you can now change these into, uh, sorry, control Z, change these into uh, whatever way you want it to be. For example, you want it to, to fit in a phone or something. Uh, you can actually do uh, some crazy things with it. So this is what I feel kind of uh, makes a lot of sense, the corner pinning mode. And if we can play that particular clip, that is what it looks like. So you can create a kind of effect uh, that looks like 3D, uh, some 3D of sorts. And you can actually, uh, maybe if you have uh, things like uh, that have a couple of sides, maybe a building, or maybe if you want to fit something on a, a laptop that is angled, then the corner pinning is really going to come in handy to do that. So to me, actually, this particular version of Camtasia, uh, the only two things that shine for me is uh, actually uh, there are three and I'm, I'm going to mention another new thing. Uh, number one is uh, the motion path. Looks good if you want to do some few things with text and so on and so forth. Next up, the corner pinning. And this is something probably somebody, somebody is going to be using a lot. Now, uh, if we look at uh, the other assets, the new 2023 assets library, handcrafted with love in the mid end, what so just uh, a lot of things here. But we have dynamic backgrounds and dynamic field assets. So uh, that's really awesome. And uh, if I can just come somewhere here and then go to library, we now have uh, the dynamic backgrounds. Uh, for example, if I actually just Let's say we add color waves. Now, what you can do is let's play this. The waves are moving. Looks really good. What you can do is that you can change the colors to suit your branding. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's say that's your color palette or something. You change that. You change the look and feel of your video. And if you are probably working with like uh, vertical videos uh, and you wanted a particular video to fit in right there, you can actually now have it have that particular background the way you want it to be. Not the best example uh, for using it, but I hope you get uh, the idea of what I'm uh, alluding to here. So that's uh, the dynamic backgrounds. Uh, we also have the dynamic fields uh, right about here. They look really good. Yeah, they look really, really good. Something that you can utilize to create some uh, fancy effects uh, in your videos. So that is what it looks like. And I don't really think there's anything uh, of importance. So we've got the ex uh, the export. Now, I've always had a beef with the export uh, timeline here. The all new state of the art rendering engine improves new. Now, there's no issue with adding the new state of the art rendering engine uh, that is going to improve on preview performance and export rendering speeds. But uh, let them just leave the legacy preview as it is. So because to me, I feel that this is just one of the big deal breakers right here uh, when it comes to uh, them changing that particular option. So I feel that uh, the export timeline is not really the best uh, in my own opinion. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, I believe this was also included in uh, Camtasia 2022 updates, but uh, we've got lot of color quick properties. You can change the colors for lot of files and so on and so forth. Uh, so the improved radio angle controls mark, and then there's some bug fixes here. And then uh, they've mentioned when support for Camtasia 2022 will end. That is a standard support. Uh, and then uh, at the time of recording this video, actually yesterday or on the 25th, they already uh, put out an update. So there are a ton of uh, not so major features. So like cursor effects, nobody uses that much. Color filters, no, not many people will use that. Motion path, uh, vignette, and I've mentioned I'll probably use dynamic backgrounds, motion path, and what is it called? Corner pinning. But uh, if you wanted to see what's new in Camtasia 2023 and you're looking forward to getting it, uh, then that's what's new. If you're on older versions and your workflow hasn't changed a lot, I don't believe there's a need to kind of move up 
uh, to come to 2023 uh, there's nothing major that is going to see uh, that you're going to see here so that's it i uh, hope this video is of value to you thanks for watching